Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm just going to show you a few tips for how to use the Google AdWords keyword tool. So this is really handy, um, a free tool, it's fantastic. So what we're going to do first is we're going to put in our keyword that we want to check out. Okay, and um, we're just going to press search. So that's the first thing that we do. Now what we do is we come up with all these um, results here. Now make sure you're on this tab here and not this one because it's a little bit more difficult for beginners. See all the, um, they're all grouped together. Now I like to see all the words out in the open. Um, now the first tip is, okay, come over here and press exact and take the tick away from the broad. Okay, so these are exact monthly searches. So this is really the true um, pe amount of people that you could possibly get. Um, now, the next thing is we want to look for lower competition. Now, let's, um, if you click here, you can go and press on Google search now this is another thing that you need to research. So it takes you straight to Google, puts in the word best student laptop. Um, now here you can see the most popular searches come up below as well, but you can research the people underneath here. Okay, oops, actually I've clicked on the wrong thing here. I need to click on web again. Now have a look at these and see if you can possibly get in here with this uh, keyword. Now as you can see this competition um, it's pretty competitive here and it said back there that it was. Now these are big websites uh, very hard to compete with. Make use of CNET um, CNET um, I haven't heard of that one PC mag blah 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 okay so let's just say that um, there's a lot of competition there for that keyword now that doesn't mean that you can't get in there though so um, never say never but just letting you know there's a lot of competition there so this is an important tip to be able to click that Google search right then and there to see what's going on. Okay, so let's go down. Uh, as you can see, sorry, in this menu here, you can also go to Google Insights. So I'll press on that just to show you. Now, um, this here um, shows you the trend for this keyword. Now, if you look down at the graph below, it has um, the trend and also as you can see I'm going along the date is changing so it shows that on May the 6th 2012 the trend wasn't so great and then the trend gets higher okay I mean that could be because of the back to school thing or something you know what I mean I don't know but it did travel along at the same pace for a while but anyway, um, it's not on a, a big downward turn, as you can see, so it's not too bad. Okay, let's go back. Now, the other thing is that we can look for the lowest um, competition and also the ones that have um, pretty good exact searches. Now we can go and press on the competition here and it will resort these and obviously we've got the highest first so let's click it again now it comes up with the nothing ones that are really tiny they can't tell whether there's low competition or not so we'll just go to the next page oh actually it's up here press next see how it's got the number there 200 of 300 or whatever okay so let's have a look have we got anything here yet no 
it's so not showing up yet so I'll press next again just press next again rightio so we're not really getting any low competition but um, we've got a lot of medium competition here so we can go for stuff like best budget laptops um, you obviously don't want to go for best laptop for students because I dare say that would be on its way out for 2011 as you can see this one here best laptop for students in 2012 that will be on its way in this one will be on its way out okay not that it's any it's a big thing but remember these are exact searches so it's okay um, now just say I want to do a post about something to do with this um, I would group some of these together um, and I, d I wouldn't just go for one keyword in a post I would go for a few so you could just say go best laptop for the money that could be a subtitle in um, a title just say it's titled best laptop for students in 2012 well you could add this one in best laptop for the money in 2012 that could be a subtitle um, and you could do best laptop under $600 in 2012 okay so I'm just showing you um, how you can pick up on these extra key words because it's actually all related okay um, all those things can go under one heading so we've done the exact search and everything so what we're going to do is press on advanced search option options um, this is where we can choose countries and uh, choose English or whatever language you speak or whatever now this is what I like here so filter ideas so let's go to competition and press on low okay and then press search now this is going to save me a lot of time because what it's going to do is show all the keywords with the lowest competition so uh, best laptop processor okay so let's do the usual thing and press on the Google search I'll just go back and which one was it this one um, we'll also click on that insights so let's have a look at the insights um, it's just steady going along it's nothing special okay so at least it hasn't got a drop and it actually exists so the next thing is um, the Google search so let's have a look now uh, this is a little bit better because they're not uh, there's might be a few spaces in here maybe uh, a squidoo lens um, well that means that there might be a gap there for you um, the other ones are pretty good uh, you could probably might be able to get in there if you're lucky these are pretty important now just say I click on that I'm gonna take it copy it and check it out now we've got the search for it but let's go and have a look over here I'll just paste that in there and press search again and see if anything comes up for it okay so something has come up for it and here it is here and it's low competition of course uh, we've got a couple more down there now this is how you find all these interesting keywords okay now look at that um, now this doesn't look like much here but you get very targeted customers from these long tail keywords and stuff like that so because um, having the best processor just by itself could mean anything whereas this search here is best processor for gaming it's very targeted 
Um, this one here, best AMD processor for gaming in 2012. Very targeted. Okay. Um, now, that wouldn't be too hard to make a post about that. And um, also put links in it to Amazon and stuff like that because um, you wouldn't have that much competition. So press on the Google search. Okay, so we've got Tom's Hardware. Yep, you should be able to beat that because it's um, Tom's Hardware repeats itself over and over. So, yeah, I suppose, um, well, you should be able to beat it. It's got three things in the top there. Um, Squidoo, um, Answers, Yahoo Answers, stuff like that. So I do see a bit of a gap here. Um, if anyone's interested, go for it. Okay, um, they're my tips on how to use um, Google AdWords keyword research tool. Of course, there's more. Um, probably We could probably go on forever, but we won't. All right, they're the best ones anyway. All right, thanks for watching.